my pals, Sabbatical Sarah here, and I'm going completely off topic because it's my sabbatical and I can do what I want. <laughs> Today, I want to share with you the absolute must-have, can't-live-without drugstore beauty makeup skincare items that I wear all the time because I spent a lot of time researching these and finding exactly what I wanted and testing them out and... I figured you might appreciate your local not beauty guru <laughs> sharing some of her finds. So let's do it. These are inexpensive. These are like available at your drugstore or your Target or your Walmart or whatever. Um, they're also available at the links down below. And I get like a tiny, tiny, tiny little commission if you buy them, which helps support me and my sabbatical and my artistic journey that I'm on. So I do appreciate you understanding and supporting if any of these things appeal to you. But legitimately, like, these are, I will show you, these are the things that I use all the time. You'll be able to tell. Okay, so for me, I always start out with skincare, washing my face, even if it's just with like water and a washcloth, get some moisture into my skin, and then I spray the heck out of it with this Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. I have owned so many of these and I am so passionate about them that even friends buy them for me for gifts. It is delightful. It smells so good. It has hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid in it, which helps your skin like soak in moisture, retain moisture. And if you're feeling dry or you just want a little spritz of something refreshing, especially when it's hot outside. I love a little like spray. You can spray this on bare skin. You can spray it over makeup if you want. It is a delight. So you can see that I've already started to get anxious about running out of this. <laughs> they still have it at the store. It'll be fine. And then, oh, the tub. <laughs> I use this day and night. I use this and then put a sunscreen over it for daytime, for nighttime. I do, you know, serums or whatever else I'm using and then put this on. And I swear it is so much product that you will feel like you've been using it forever. But you can use this on your face. You can use this on your hands. You can use this all over your body. It is just magical. Just magical. It's so good. And like, $9.99 or something for like a huge tub of it. And I have tried so many different creams that I've really liked, like higher end creams. But when it comes down to it, like they don't work necessarily better than this for just moisturizing. Like this is what I need. So this is what I use. Now, I am so stressed out by the process of buying foundation because like matching your colors and then in the summer and in the winter I am different shades because I live in Seattle and then I spend my entire summer outside. Um, but this one, surprisingly, this is like, I didn't test this before I brought it home, but it is my perfect shade. This is the L'Oreal Paris fancy imported <laughs> infallible pro glow foundation now you may notice eventually as I go through the rest of my stuff you'll notice that anything that's like glow or moisturizing or like hydrating or creamy like that's the stuff I'm going for because I am 35 years old and I want my skin to look moisturized and healthy and shiny and glowy like I'm a young woman, a young human who has always been good at skincare and drinks all of the water that she needs. And I also want to look like candles are glowing inside of me. That's the look that I'm going for. So I really like this foundation. I use it with one of the like sponges and I try not to use very much. I put it on the back of my hand and I do this and then I kind of put it around and then blend it out. And I feel like it does a really good job. It sticks to my nose. My nose is always runny every time of year. It's like I go from my winter runny nose to my spring runny nose to my fall runny nose to my winter runny nose again. The summer's not so bad. But I always end up having to blow my nose immediately after putting on foundation. And I feel like this actually holds up. Like it actually stands the test of the nose blow, which I love. Um, it says up to 24 hours and I never ever in my life have ever worn a foundation for 24 hours because I'm not that girl. I'm not going out. 
no, at 8 p.m. I'm like, mm, time to wash my face. Love that for me. <laughs> um, so I can't really tell you about the 24 hours, but I will say it lasts as long as I need it to. It still looks good when I take it off at the end of the night, which is really what you want. And it does have a little bit of sunscreen in it. It has an SPF 15. I'm all about sunscreen because I grew up in Florida and treated my skin with utter disrespect and then moved to Seattle and while I don't get much sun most of the year, have just like a lot of age and, you know, whatever, sun damage. It's fine. But I like when things have a little additional sunscreen. Still always put on other sunscreen because this is not going to be enough to kind of like protect you. But, you know, if they can throw it in, why not? Add a little bit of that. All right. This concealer, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, is a satin finish. You can start to see that I've like really been using this for a while and I use it every day and I love it so much. I love it so much. It doesn't look dry and cakey under my eyes. <laughs> like looking too closely at my skin. I'm 35. Um, and the thing that this doesn't do that every other concealer that I try does is crease and all these little like older lady creases I'm getting. Like again, I know I'm 35. I'm not 65 and at 65 I'm probably still gonna be here telling you about my beauty things because it's good to love yourself and feel beautiful and enjoy the creative process and like all of it it's good but yes I have lines under my eyes I have creases in my eyelids I have sort of hooded eyes um, and this doesn't crease I still set it because I like the finish when it's set with a powder which I'll show you next um, but I really really like this I feel like it is hydrating this shade that I use is light ivory and I really like it. I don't go for a super super light brightening one because I don't like the look of like my eyes being much brighter than the rest of me um but I've been really really happy with this and honestly I will rebuy this because it's just so good. It's so good. All right so for my under eyes and my eyelids I like to set it with powder and I have had this Milani Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder in Fair, because I am melanin challenged. I've had this for a really long time, and I don't feel like I need anything else. It is beautiful under the eyes. It's not too, like, covery. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't, like, mess up what I've got going on. Um, and as you can see, I like really use this and I only use it under the eyes and on the eyelids because I have a different like more glowy powder that I like for the rest of my face um but I use it every time I do my makeup and it's fantastic and it's inexpensive I just love that I have a couple Milani products here and Milani great job you're really doing it here's another one this is the cutest thing in the entire world not gonna lie to you, when I bought it, I thought it was like gonna be like a full size kind of thing. No, it's tiny. And I was like, what have I done? But I've been using this every day, like every, every day. And it's still like got tons of product in it. Like this is a lot of product. You don't need that much powder blush. Like you don't use that much. But I love this one. This is in the shade Luminoso. It's the Baked Powder Blush from Milani. And this shade is so pretty it's like a pinky coral which is definitely like the shade range that I like to live in um I think it it suits my complexion it suits like my undertones I really like this and it has a bit of a shimmer in it but it's not sparkly it just gives that like I'm filled with candles look that I'm going for and I really like that and I usually like to I didn't today um but I like to go across the cheeks like up and over the nose because it's cute it's so cute and it's what the, ch the youths are doing. <laughs> I'm into it. So I really, really like this and you don't need a bigger one. And if you're traveling, you're gonna be so thrilled that it's small and it fits in your bag really easily. Love that. And I'm considering getting more of these little tiny ones in different shades because it's so good and inexpensive. And then, oh, this, I'm so excited to share these things with you. These are literally like I was pulling them out and I was like, this is, the bulk of my makeup that I do every day. Like this is the stuff that I grab for all the time. I'm also gonna do a video of my like higher end things that I really like that I go for, but that stuff for me, I don't, 
I don't want to spend that much money unless I know I'm going to love it. So I hang out here on YouTube and watch all of the beauty gurus and like try to figure out what are the products that I'm, I think I'm really going to love and only buy those because it's, it's hard to spend money on something that's going to expire. And if I don't love it, I'm not going to use it all the time. Anyways, this though, this is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. It's another one of those baked formulas. It has like the little like dippy bit. This looks like it's going to be so boring. Like this doesn't look, this doesn't look exciting. But at this time of my life, again, I'm not looking for like crystals to be growing off my cheek. I'm just looking for, hey, lit from within. She looks youthful and lovely. Look, look how, <laughs> look how glowy she is. Anyways, this highlighter, I, I like really cannot live without this. And people have been talking about it forever on YouTube. And I just was like, whatever, it looks boring. I don't want to whatever. But I finally ordered it. I got it. This is the number 10 Be My Highlight shade. And I, I love it. It like just adds the perfect amount of shimmer with everything else. Like it just, I just, I go out in the sun and I look divine. <laughs> I really love these products like this this one is a, a real winner and again these are all like under ten dollars like wow um and then the final thing oh my I'm making a mess the final thing that I wanted to share with you is something that I don't use every day but it's something I have three of so you know I must really like it it is the Maybelline Superstay matte ink liquid lipsticks um, I am much more at this point of my life into tinted balms, um, like things that wear off really lovely, like the Clinique Black Honey, like nearly nips, li nip, nipsticks, oh, <laughs> nearly lipsticks. Um, th those are the kinds of things I'm wearing every day. This is the, this one right here is the Glossier, um, like matte, like wash of color, like things like that, that under a mask are going to wear away gracefully, I'm gonna eat and it's not gonna look bad. Um, that's what I need for my life. But if I wanna wear a bright color, like these, <laughs> fuchsia, red, purple, these are all colors I really enjoy wearing. If I'm gonna wear them, I want them to go on, I want them to look good, and I want to know that without looking in a mirror, they're gonna continue to look good. Because in my last video, great example of why I need something like this, I just put on like, a lipstick like a bullet lipstick with a little gloss and I was like ah, that's fine don't need to look in the mirror again and I had lipstick all over my teeth for that whole video and I was so horrified <laughs> like horrified um so these once they go on they stay on all day long like all day long like recently I went to a soccer game at night I left my house to get on the train at like 11 a.m and wore this put this on once I got home at like 10 p.m. and it still looked incredible. Like, ah, so good. So if you're looking for like bright colors to make a statement to enjoy your life and just have incredible lips, like these really are so good. Um, it takes a little bit of work to get them off at the end of the night, but nothing too crazy. Like it's not like some of the ones I've used where it's like you have to get, like sand them off. It's not like that. They come off, um, but they don't come off when you're eating or drinking. They don't really transfer to anything. They're just beautiful and you know if I was allowing myself to be the hoarder that I sometimes want to be I would have more colors of this because it's just a really really good format and my husband just came down the stairs and is going to catch me being a beauty guru so that's the end of this video. <laughs> hi um that's the end of this video I hope that you were excited by these items I am <laughs>